Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. I want to thank everyone for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I want to welcome you and I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, I got a lot of requests when I showed my blueberries. Look at these gorgeous blueberries that I bought from Trader Joe's. These are over a pound. All right, so I had talked about making scones with them and I had a lot of people say, yes, make the scones. So today that is exactly what we're gonna do with these beautiful blueberries. So y'all, let's get started. All right, y'all, so to get started, we're gonna sift our dry ingredients first. Now what you're gonna need is two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of a white granulated sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, and then just half a teaspoon of salt. So we got our sifted ingredients in the bowl here. Now I'm taking five tablespoons of, it's kind of a frozen, refrigerated, unsalted butter. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is an unsalted butter that we're using, right? Now you can cut this into cubes and put it into your dry mix, or I like to just use a grater here and just grate it into a bowl so it's already in tiny pieces. Now I've already got about four and a half in there. So I'm just doing one more so I can show y'all what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm gonna take my butter now, my shaved butter, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my flour mixture. All right, so I'm gonna take my pastry blender here and just blend the both together. What we're looking for is a nice crumble. Alright, we have a nice crumble in there. The butter blended in with the flour mixture, so that's looking really good. We're going to go ahead now and add our delicious blueberries, right y'all? I got one cup here. Now that's up to you if you want more or less, alright? So we're going to try one. Mm, oh my gosh, they're so good. All right, we're gonna put them in. Now, when you mix this together, be very gentle, all right? We don't wanna burst the blueberries too much and make that flower blue. <laughs> all right, we just wanna coat them. All right, that's looking really good in there. If you want more blueberries in there, now's the time to put them in there. I think these are perfect right here. We're going to flatten that out just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is make a well right in the middle of here. I know you're going, where's the wet ingredients, right? Well, I just have one for y'all. Just one. All right. Heavy cream. One cup going in. Just pour it right in the center. and then just kind of loosely mix this together. You don't want to over stir or burst the blueberries, so just kind of mix it together. Oh, it looks so good. Mm. Y'all see how together this is coming? So easy. Oh, look at that. Yep. Just go around the sides and kind of pull to the center. Make sure you get all the flour. All right, it's coming together really good. What we're gonna do now is we got a nice light mix on this. So we're going to make the scones. All right, y'all, I'm going to lightly flour my work surface here that's been cleaned. We're going to take our blueberry scone mix here and just place it right in the center. And we're going to form it. Now 
All right. Now what we're looking to do is make a circle here. We want it about one inch thick. All right, just be careful when you're forming it. Flower your hands good. Alright y'all, so I'm using my scraper here and what I'm going to do is cut this into triangle pieces. So I'm just going to go in half. Kind of move it a little bit, there we go. Then I'm going to cut it in half again and half again and then half again. So we're going to have eight pieces of this. All right. Alright, so now I'm placing them on my pan here. I'm using some parchment paper so they can come off really easily. Alright y'all, so my scones are ready. One more step before they go in the oven. Now I've got a little bit of milk here and just my little pastry brush. And I'm just going to slather it across the top of each scone. Mm. It's going to give it a nice color. All right, y'all. These are going to go into my preheated oven at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. We're looking for a nice golden color on these. All right, I'll be back. And once I'm back, we're going to go ahead and make a glaze for these. All right, y'all, my scones are out of the oven. I've been letting them rest for just a little bit. Now, before they finish cooling, I'm just going to go ahead and make the glaze for these. Don't those look good? Oh, my gosh, look at those blueberries bursting everywhere. All right. Now, to make our glaze, I've got two cups of a powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, that I'm going to sift through my sifter here into a medium bowl. And then I'm going to... Take some fresh lemons here and I'm going to squeeze them until I get about half a cup that I'm going to add to that. And then I've got one tablespoon of melted butter in here that I've already melted and we're just going to mix it all together and then that's going to be our glaze. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to pour my fresh lemon juice into my confectioner's sugar here that I've sifted. Now I'm going to add my one tablespoon of melted butter. And then we're going to combine it all together. Mmm, look at that, y'all. Oh, yeah. Can y'all see that? Glazed blueberry scones. Ooh, I can smell the lemon out of there. Oh, it's so delicious. All right, I'm going to go in for a bite and we're going to taste them. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, y'all. I know you want to bite, right? Make these. Did you see how simple that was? Oh my gosh, a lot of stuff just came right out of my pantry and refrigerator. I didn't have to go and get anything. I had the blueberries. Alright, y'all. These are so delicious. That glaze on top that adds another layer of flavor with that lemon in there. Oh my gosh, and the blueberries. Alright, y'all. I want to thank you so much for coming to my show today. Make sure you comment down below what your favorite flavor of a scone is. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, I'll see you on my next episode.